All right, so this is my first video on my um, solar uh, charge controller setup. And it took me about three years to set this up. And it's right here on my wall. Uh, I decided to put it right by my door to the backyard just so I'd have easy access to the batteries and um, the entire system, the wiring. So I'm just gonna show you guys what I have here. Um, so this is a system. So I got my charge controllers, a little MPPT uh, charge controller. It's, uh, I believe it's 40, uh, 40 amps. Pretty sure it's 40 amps. <laughs> and it's been a while since I've got this. I don't have that much on it though. Um, I have two solar panels up on the roof. They're 100 watts each. 200 watts total. Um, they're wired in parallel. Um, now I, I had all this, a lot of this stuff I already had laying around from other projects. Um, I kind of wanted something to tell me the amps on my panels, but it just doesn't seem to work. And it's always 23 or 2.3 amps. Doesn't matter how warm or how sunny it is outside. It's always telling me that. Obviously, um, the volts are right. It uh it's about the same on my uh MPPT. Here's 21.1 over here it's saying it's 20, so I don't know how the accuracy on this thing is or not, but um I had this in my car and I ended up having two of them, so this one was brand new, but it's not I don't know. It's not doing what it's supposed to. Uh solar panel disconnects. Here's a light switch just to get a loose uh the lights go out. I have something to turn on. I just had that sitting around, so I just kind of wired it to it. So that's that. Um, have a thousand watt inverter. Yeah, it's not a. It's not the four hundred dollar one. Cost me about a hundred dollars on Amazon. All this I had laying around. It's a hundred and fifty uh, amp fuse. Here's a twenty amp fuse. Um, all my wiring is 8 gauge, just had all this laying around. Uh, this is 2 gauge. Got this on Amazon for about 20 bucks for 20 feet total. Here's my battery disconnect. Uh, show you guys. So everything is wired in there. And up here I have solar panel disconnect so I had these laying around from other projects I never used them so 60 amp uh, fuses up there here's the uh, panel wires going into the uh, charge controller also 8 gauge here's the 8 gauge uh, the panel ones are 10 gauge and I just kind of Drilled a hole right by the door. It's going out up to the roof. And down here are the uh, two gauge cables going to the batteries. The batteries are right outside the door in a uh, large container. Two batteries. I don't have that much. Uh, they're deep cycle Costco batteries. They do the job for now. They're uh, 122 amp. So I got a total of about 220 and two batteries. For now, that's all I have. So, this is my setup. Uh, kind of rig this to where I can open it in case I need to uh, add any, uh, make any changes, add anything, any gadgets. So, that's my setup. Um, I am looking to add a, uh, I, I want an amp meter. Something that tells me how many amps my panels are producing. This doesn't tell me that. This only tells me the volts on the panels, volts on the battery, amps going into the batteries when they're charging, and it tells me the load, amps per hour, batteries are producing, that tells me the temperature, and the percentage of the batteries are, I don't think that's very accurate though. When it tells me that they're halfway full or whatever, it just, it's just not, it doesn't do anything. 
Um, but I do want something to replace this to tell me the, uh, the amps. I do want to know how many amps are producing at any time during the day and I just I can't figure that out. I bought something else. I'm going to make another video on it, but I haven't figured that out. Um, everything is fused on the outside. Batteries, everything. Uh, I'm going to make another video on the batteries outside. I just want to make a quick video of what I have. Thanks for watching.